Hey, it's Jerry with TradeTheFifth.com. I want to talk about a uh, trade that uh, I kind of try to do sometimes. It's called a bracket trade. Did it uh, recently in Stamps.com, 3M, and uh, to this morning did in Baidu. So the way the bracket trade works is you get a, a big gap up or a gap down on earnings, and you let that day run its course. And then you look at the high of the day and the low of the day, and then on the next day you trade the breakout to the high or the low side on that day. So with Baidu, uh, relatively weak earnings had a big gap down. 134.26 I think was the high, and the low was uh, 127. I can't see it behind the label there, but it was 127 and change. Um, so I was looking, I was setting this up as a bracket trade. I noticed this morning that it was already gapping down pre-market. It actually was a little up and then it started moving down with the indexes. So I actually shorted it in the pre-market uh, for a trade. And then I started managing it after we had uh, a little bit of price action consolidation in the morning. But I do want to talk about uh, another trade that popped up as I was managing this on the one minute chart and it's a trade you could have done uh, with options or shorting the stock. So we had the opening uh, candle here. Uh, the open was 123.23, obviously another gap down. And we had a pretty big push down to here, about 119. Found support, came up, and then started pulling back down again. So we have a, an opening high, a low, another high, which is a lower high than the open, a higher low, a lower high, a higher low, and you can see as this thing is starting to coil in a little bit of consolidation range, you could also trade the breakout of this triangle type pattern to the upper downside. Um, I think it would have been a pretty good guess that this was probably more like a, bull, a bear flag in the morning, but as I was managing this on the one minute chart, I noticed a one minute signal came up here. Uh, since I was already in the trade, I didn't add in or do anything else, but if you were watching that on a one minute chart, you could have traded this uh, with options or stock. So you could maybe buy a 40 or 50 delta put option. Uh, should we hit the trigger here, which we did at 119.77. Now the stop is a little bit interesting. And I know that, uh, you know, Paul does this and we look at these when we do the black box breakout trades. We kind of look at the entries and the stops, right? So. The intent of the signal is to give us a bit of a volatility squeeze. It's looking at price action as well as volume and giving you signals on a specific set of conditions. And it mechanically gives you an entry and a stop uh, based on those conditions. Um, often when I look at the stop, I'm going to look a little bit to the left and you can see there's a couple of uh, selling tail uh, candles on the one minute chart and I would normally not take this as the stop I would actually have the stop back up over here above these probably a couple of cents above those and had you done that you would have triggered in it would have pulled back to a lower uh, a lower high than these two candles and you would not have gotten stopped out with your stop a little bit up here now if you had set the stop mechanically at this level not looking left a little bit to these couple of wicks close by um, you would have gotten stopped out you could have re-entered again at the same entry signal and that would have been a really good trade or you could have you know if you would have drawn the triangle pattern here and sold shorted the breakout that also was a pretty good trade and I managed my trade to the one minute cloud I was trailing my stop through the cloud here and I got stopped out right around this area here. Uh, my trade entry was about 125 in the pre-market, so it was you know way it was above the open even. So as we hit the initial um, open, we had you know further deteriorated in the pre-market than when I had gotten in. Uh, we had this big push down. I set my stop here at 123.23, which was the high of the morning and let the trade you know kind of run its course um, you know and then I started managing it as I saw this pattern and, and it broke down I really started managing it fairly tightly to the cloud and got stopped out here and my trade was about 
uh, eight bucks for my entry, uh, pretty close to that, um, about eight bucks on, and I had, uh, initially I was looking in the pre-market about a dollar to dollar fifty stop, so it was about 800% times risk, more or less, uh, if you would have done this as an option trade, a 40 or 50 delta option probably would have been an easy double. Uh, here at this point, I'd have to go back and look through the chart um, of those particular options around, you know, this one, uh, you know, 119 or so option on the put side uh, probably would have been about the right one to take, 119.50, 119, depending on what was available and what the volatility of the individual options were. But in any event, um, you know, if you would have just taken the signal and managed properly the stop behind these two candles, that itself was about a 500% times risk trade. So uh, that's a setup on what's called a bracket trade, um, trading you know big gaps uh, the day after big gap price action and trading the breakouts to the higher the low. And uh, maybe you can add this kind of trade to your repertoire in the future. Good luck trading. Uh, hope you guys have a good week. Take care. Bye-bye.